Even when a certain piece of music isn't at the top of the charts anymore, it can still be heard. You just have to work a little harder to find it. And of course, some genres are more popular than others. Uh, even though they aren't in the top 10, polkas and waltzes have their appeal. In fact, this week, someone you should know has spent a lifetime making sure of it. <laughs> This is 85-year-old Victor Schwann playing a more than 100-year-old accordion. Both man and machine, as they say, still got it. Times and musical tastes have changed, though, since Schwann started playing, and so have the laws. And by the time I was nine, I could play the accordion. I was even playing in the local bar on Saturday nights with another guy that played the piano. He's been playing ever since, and all by ear. Besides playing music, Schwann supported his family by working jobs in the grocery and printing business. He says music is his love, but his true love is his wife of 65 years. She was sitting in front of me in high school and she, we were kind of making fun of things in the, in the, in the uh, uh, study hall. And she turned around and she had an orange and she squirted me. <laughs> That's how we got to know each other. And the rest is history, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Johanna Schwan loves to hear her husband play. I sit right pretty close to him and he does good. People like it, and they always say, oh, he's doing so good, he's doing good. <laughs> Recently, Schwan was doing good at Merillac Manor in Bismarck. Toes were tapping, hands were clapping, and there was some dancing bringing people together. Several years ago, in fact, polka music brought 89-year-old Vern Krein and his friend Marlis Olausen together. I used to live in Minnesota, and my brother and I were here to visit my sister, and we went to the dance, and uh, my sister knew her and introduced us, and we started dancing, and we've been together, we've been together since. since. For more than an hour, Schwann and his audience revisited a bygone age, a time featuring another North Dakota musician with whom Schwann has some connections. Well, Lawrence Welk and my dad were first cousins. They lived on the farm uh, west of Strasburg, about five, six miles, and dad played the pump organ and Lawrence had played the accordion. They were buddies in the farm for till Lawrence till turned 21 years old, took his accordion and $3 in his pocket, and he went to Strasburg and he caught a ride down to, uh, hitchhiked all the way down to Yankton, South Dakota, and found Myron Florin. The rest is history. Not history anytime soon, Schwann's busy playing schedule, saying music means as much to him as it does to those who are listening. When I play, they come up and congratulate me and uh, thank you and such a good job. And, and uh, I just really enjoy their smiles and their thank yous. And I'm gonna do it as long as I possibly can. For a lifetime of sharing music with others, Victor Schwann is someone you should know. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Isn't that a fact?